Earlier this week, there were several protests in the West. Tour guides demonstrated in front of the National Assembly in Bamapan on Thursday, and two days earlier on Tuesday, other protested the murder of Danny Konarke, starting at the western border. This morning, the wave of protests moved to Belize City. This time, the target was the Guatemalan Embassy in Kings Park. Organized by political aspirant Gilroy Usher Sr., a small group of about 20 Belizeans gathered on A Street, chanting that enough is enough and demanding justice for the cold-blooded murder of Connor Key. This is a protest to denounce the cold-blooded murder of the tourism police officer Danny, Danny Connor Key by poachers from Guatemala, way inside Belizean territory. And this has been, this, the poachers from Guatemala have been coming across to Belize on a continuous um, daily basis, deeper and deeper. And Nothing has been done, no serious effort has been made to stop them. And that is why we are at this stage today where the tragedy happened at the archaeological site. Because for, from time to time they've been coming across, making milpas, taking our valuable timber, and not only that, attacking our law enforcement officers with machete and even shooting at them, right? And the whole time the government pretend as if though nothing is happening, kind of let the matter slip under the rug. So we are saying that is enough is enough, and we are saying that it's time that Belizeans stand up for their rights. The time to save the country is now. For too long, we've just let things slide. We pretend that we don't know that all the poachers from Guatemala, they cut down acres and acres away land, you know, in, in the um, Chikubuli and the other areas, right? We pretend we're not aware about the cutting a chate. We pretend we're not aware about the cutting of the timber and different things. And so we are saying that the time to take a stand is now. No, that's why we are taking a stand. No, so, no. Some may say that, uh, why come here? They, they, they're not the ones that are on the ground. They're not the, the, the illegal poachers. Why come to them? Okay, but the embassy represents the citizens of Guatemala. And it is citizens from Guatemala that keep encroaching into Belizean territory. Therefore, we want to send a message to the Guatemalan government, to their embassy then, that they need to restrain their people from coming across to Belize to steal our natural resources and worst of all, killing our law enforcement officers. The message was loud and clear and the small group became more agitated. The mob started to egg the Guatemalan embassy despite the heavy presence of police officers who insisted that the protest was illegal. Sir, we understand, we understand. Right? We do understand, but there is a legal way to do things, right? So if you are breaking the law, we will have no other alternative but to enforce the law. Well, we don't consider ourselves to breaking like this is our spontaneous process. And I think before the policeman, then jump to one, arrest we who will stand up for it, right, sir? They need to go to the border and arrest the poachers then. That's what they need to do. When you go to the border, when you go to the border and go arrest the poachers then. When you go to the border and go arrest the poachers then. Mr. Go to the border. I believe that you're intelligent we enough. Officer, we do respect Mr. Osha, we are standing for we go we look at nowhere. I believe that you're a civil person and I believe that you have intelligence enough to understand that what you are doing is illegal. We just stand up for right. your rights. Now yes, I understand that, but and what I, I'm I saying, Mr. Osha, Mr. Osha, I would want, Mr. Osha, I would want, Mr. Osha, I would want you, Mr. Osha, I would want you, to exercise some control kind of civil right now. Mr. Osha, I would want you, Mr. Osha, I would want you to exercise some kind of civil pride, right? I think that That's you larger. Enough, 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 Right? Enough! So, enough. Mr. Osha, enough. Enough. enough is enough. enough! The time to save the countries! No! The time to save the countries! No! Come up the time to save the countries! No! The time to save the countries! No! We being out here and throwing an egg on the building, that's a minor thing. Because that can be washed up. Dana Kanaki paid the ultimate price in serving his country. He lost his life because of the incompetence and the inaction of the authorities from both um, sides of the border in dealing with this continuous encroachment in our Belize by Guatemalans. Just moments after the protest, at an event held at the Biltmore Plaza, Prime Minister Dean Burrow was asked to weigh in on the protest. He sided with the protesters. People have a right to demonstrate generally and an issue 
such as this uh, is incendiary, the degree of Belizean outrage is not just almost unprecedented, but it is entirely justified. This was a horrible, absolutely dastardly act. And, and, and we should be grateful that we live in a country where at least people are still going to employ peaceful means to, to record their dissatisfaction, record their concern, record their outrage over something like this. They, 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 you're saying they picketed or demonstrated. They didn't try to, to, to burn down the place or to, to, to damage the, the, the property of the Guatemalan embassy. They, they, they have every right to, to, to protest. Dwayne Moody for News 5.